the hype for the latest brass libraries got me thinking. Aren't there some pretty nice brass libraries already available to us? And what about one that's been around for a few years, has shown to be reliable, and costs only a fraction of some of those other big-name libraries? I sometimes feel as if Impact Soundworks' Bravura Scoring Brass has spent the last few years flying under the radar. But if you're a composer on a budget, it may be just what you've been looking for. Coming in at a mere $199 at the time of this recording, I'd say that what you get for the money is an excellent value. It comes in two flavors, 16-bit and 24-bit. The list of articulations is extensive, includes both ensemble and solo brass, and also includes an ensemble and solo chord maker and orchestrator patch. We'll take a look at the orchestrator in a minute, but first, let's check out the interface. Bravura Scoring Brass is a contact player library, so you don't need the full contact to run it. And as you can see, each instrument boasts three mic positions, close mic, and two rooms that can be output to separate channels, EQ controls, reverb, velocity curve control, tuning, mutes, with CC controls for dynamics and vibrato. The short dynamics can either be controlled by velocity or the mod wheel. And an added feature that I found pretty nice is that all three shorts can be triggered either by key switches or by velocity, an addition you don't find in a lot of libraries. Another interesting feature is the stack button. You can easily stack two or three more instruments for a bigger, bolder sound. You can even use the stack button on the solo instruments, which creates some interesting possibilities. In other words, we have choices, and the more control a developer gives me, the happier I am. So let's get to the sounds. As always, I've turned the built-in reverb off, and I'm using a demo version of Tone Booster's excellent algorithmic reverb that I've been testing out. Anyway, here's a selection of articulations from various instruments. From what I can tell, there are only three dynamic layers for the sustains. Hopefully Impact Soundworks will correct me if I'm wrong, but they make the most of it, with transitions between the layers that are very smooth to my ear. Thank you. 
I'm intrigued by the orchestrator patch, which I've only played with for a short while. Basically, what it does is automatically arrange the instruments as you play across the keyboard. I'm not sure how much I'd use this, but I can imagine a lot of you will find it very useful. And it sounds great. Here's a little taste. Overall, I think this is a really terrific library, especially for those of you who don't want to break the bank buying brass. The sounds are solid, round, brassy when they need to be, and the multitude of features makes it a must-have in my estimation. You don't always need the newest kit on the block. Sometimes the old standbys work just great. Kudos to Impact Soundworks for their fine work on this. That's all for now. See you next time.